Now, the tussle between Brussels and Rome comes to a head today as the deadline arrives for Italy to deliver its revised budget to the EU. Italy's populist government has been at loggerheads with Brussels since uh, they rejected their initial submission, which included planned tax breaks and increased welfare spending. Uh, well, let's go live now to Sicily, where Georgia Orlandi uh, has been following this story for us. Good morning, Georgia. Uh, now, we've seen so uh, much uh, clashing between Italy uh, and Brussels over this budget. Uh, do, we, do you think they're even going to make, Italy is even going to make this deadline to resubmit the budget? Good morning, Bell. Well, Italian Prime Minister Conte arrived quite late here uh, in Palermo yesterday, and the reason for that is that he was still talking about this budget with Deputy Prime Ministers Salvini and Di Maio. We know as well that the program of this conference is different from what it was supposed to be. It has been shortened because of the urgency of these uh, talks. Now, there are two currently, there are two, current, two different approaches on this budget. One is uh, the one that that, is, uh, that has been backed by the two deputy prime minister, which is a stricter one. They don't want to change these budget. They don't want to respect what Brussels uh, has told them on this budget and the kind of answer that they have to give within midnight today. The other approach is more moderate. Is the one by finance minister uh, Tria. He would like to review the GDP uh, growth forecast for uh, 2019. But we we'll have to see what kind of approach will prevail uh, in the end. We know that the risk is sanctions for Italy, and that could be around 0 0.2 percent of GDP growth. But also, it could result in uh, cuts of uh, EU millions uh, worth of funds that Italy is currently receiving. Bell and Georgia, uh, just tell us what uh, regular Italians make of all of this. Well, Italians are very worried about the Italian economy. They're very worried about the consequences of this budget and the impact that this budget might have on their uh, everyday life. But despite this, it seems that approval ratings uh, by the Italian people on this government are quite high. They stand around over 30 percent. Now, that has to do with the way this government has been dealing with the uh, migrant issue, for example. What it is unclear is that... Uh, uh, of course, Italians are, uh, in a way, approving the way this government is dealing with the, uh, with the budget. We know that uh, Salvini is organizing a, a big mass demonstration on the 8th of December. We'll see how many people will turn up for that, Bell.